Alright everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Cowboy Trades and today I'm going to be teaching you how to read the Solana blockchain. So for this video specifically, I'm going to teach you how to check the tokenomics of Solana, how to check Solana wallets on the blockchain and what they hold, you know, how to check for tokens, collectibles, NFTs, how to check you know, the staking status of web free wallets. So this will predominantly be for web free Solana based wallets like Phantom. If you don't have a Phantom or a web free wallet, I've got a video in the description on how to create one. With that said, let's jump right in. All right, so the main website we'll be using to check for everything on the Solana blockchain will be this website here. So if you want to come over to explorer.solana.com to start with, and we'll start off with the tokenomics, meaning, you know, the supply, the price, etc. So loading into explorer.solana, we can currently see the circulating supply of Solana is at 62%. We can see the active stake is 388.6 million and the price is $90. So that is how we check for the tokenomics. So now we'll learn how to check Solana wallets on the blockchain, how to check for tokens, collectibles and NFTs. So for this example, I'm going to use one of my Solana wallets. So you simply want to copy and paste your Solana wallet into this search here. So this is one of my Solana wallets. You can see all we do is search it and click on account. So once we click on account, you can see the current balance that I have on Sol, not including the staking amount. If we scroll down, you can read all of my transaction history, meaning all of the transactions that I've received from my friends, received as payments for services, or just money that I've been sending in or out of my account. So uh, reading all these transactions uh, takes a little bit of skill. Uh, so we may do another video on how to read these in depth. But for example, you can see uh, which change in Solana balance is seen, who has sent the uh, who has sent the transaction? So from which address? This example being uh, one of my friends' addresses down here. Now, if we want to look for the tokens, NFTs, and collectibles, what you want to do is you want to click on tokens here. So all of these tokens here include you know all of the transaction history for all of the tokens that I've sent and received, and they receive all of the uh, collectibles, all the NFTs that I own. So for example, in this video, I'll be trying to find my Degenerate Ape Academy NFT, which is my favorite NFT. So uh, you can scroll through this website and you can kind of see all of the token holdings that I used to have. So for example, if we click on this dragon, you can see that previously it said I didn't hold this NFT. This was an NFT that I made an offer for that didn't get you know filled or they, they never accepted. So uh, you can see that the total balance says zero for these NFTs that I don't hold anymore or that I've sold or moved to a new wallet. If we scroll down, you can see the degenerate ape number 2125 here and you can see that the total balance is one. Obviously, there is only one of this NFT, so we'll click on it and see what's going on here. So nice, we can see the mint authority who has the authority on minting this we can see you know the original image of my ape we can check that, that you know this is a, a verified listing and if we come down to transfers you can see all the times that it has been transferred to and from different addresses we can check out the distribution uh, of the total supply so for example, with NFTs like this, it is a one-on-one, -on -one, so it's impossible to hold less than 100% of the token. Here, you can see the previous owners of this token, and you can see that they no longer own any percent of this token, so it is 0%. Uh, over here, you can see the owner, obviously this being me, you can see balance 1, 100%, meaning I own this uh, original token. If we click on this again, it will take you right back to my account where you can see you know my soul balance and then once again my nft tokens are right here so that is how we check for tokens and collectibles so now i'll teach you another website how you can check your staking status so to check the staking status just make sure that you have your wallet address copied 
and then come over to the search and search soulstake.io and you can see this website here will pop up like i said i will put the links to all of these in the description so with this website you can see the current epoch epoch meaning moment in time in computing so this is how many epochs that solana has currently been through epochs are roughly 2.6 days um or closer to three days but you know they do vary they do vary and they will change over time when the epoch status goes up so what you want to do is you want to paste your wallet address into here and you'll see you know the wallet balance that you have that is not staked and then you will see the balance that you have staked and you can see this little pie chart here which will show you your balance compared to the total state so I only have one staking account right now. I used to have a bunch of them, but I removed all of them and compiled them into one. So you can see we have one staking account that was delegated on the Epoch 281. You can see we're currently on 283. So I've had about one Epoch worth of rewards. And that is because it takes a full Epoch to verify your account. So my account was verified and started earning rewards on the 282nd Epoch. We're now on the 283rd. So when this completes in, you know, 19 hours, I will have my second set of rewards. So you can see the rewards down here. These are compounded every, you know, two and a half to three days. And you can see that in this Epoch, Epoch 282, I received, you know, almost 3% of a Solana. Now, what will happen is those rewards will stay how they are for the current epoch. In the next epoch, 284, these rewards will be added to my Solana balance and they will compound, which will mean that, you know, the next uh, time I'm staking Solana or the next epoch, I will have a slightly larger amount of Solana. So every epoch that goes up, you will see this post balance increase. So for example, next epoch, it will be closer to 50.3 Solana. The epoch after that, it may be 50.33. And these interests, these compounding interests will just keep on compounding and you'll keep on making, you know, larger and larger sums. Do bear in mind, it is a double-edged sword because like we saw with the website that we were just on, Solana Explorer, there is only a certain amount of Solana. It does have a fixed supply. The inflation rate will go down over time. So you won't always be earning what you're earning right now. Uh, if we do come over to the re rewards on here as well, you can see that I have delegated, which basically means that I have set up a staking account to receive rewards. Down here on the rewards, once again, you can see what you've earned and you can see your current annual percent rate, which is 6.95. But do bear in mind, this is compounding interest, so it will be slightly higher than 6.95. 6.95 would be the interest you received on your 50.28 Solana. But do bear in mind, every three days, you're going to receive interest and that interest will begin gaining interest on top of interest. So that is basically it for this video. We've now learned how to check the staking status, how to check for tokens, how to check Solana wallets and the tokenomics on the blockchain. So that's everything for this educational video. I just want to take a moment to say thank you for watching if you did make it all the way through this video. If you like the content and you learned something, please leave a like and a comment. And if there are any more educational content that you would like me to cover, be it, you know, to do with Solana, Bitcoin, any crypto of your choice, I'd be more than happy to, you know, listen to your input and take it into consideration for my next educational content. So once again, thanks for watching. Cowboy out. Peace.